hey welcome back so in this video um, we we are looking at uh, something revolutionary uh, we'll be discussing a groundbreaking ai tool called god mode which automates complex tasks saving you time and effort so uh, what is god mode so god mode is an artificial intelligence powered software that makes complex tasks in a breeze it can perform uh, tasks that would typically requires hours of manual work in just minutes so by streamlining the process and increasing efficiency has the potential to revolutionize the way we work but how exactly does it work so let's find out so uh, here's an example basically uh, you have to go to settings similar to this uh, whether you sign in or not that's totally up to you so go to your uh, open ai api key create a new key and just copy paste it and you need that api key here okay and verify api key and okay this looks good so explore uh, write a resignation letter to my boss at sap here are some examples but i would want to know uh, my use case would be how do i build a tech business which generates 1 million annually right so i can ask this question to this and let's see how this would work so yeah it generated the tasks here uh, okay, we added this. So the first thing it did was conduct a market research to identify target audience and their needs, develop a minimum viable product and test it with potential customers, create a marketing strategy sales to acquire and retain customers. So yeah, it's harnessing the power of GPUs here. okay and what you can also do is give it additional feedback so i would ask it uh, this would be for a tech a tech business uh, which sells in marketplaces as well as d2c right so let's see if this would factor that in so as you can see at its core uh, utilizes a combination of machine learning algorithms and natural language processing this allows it to understand and execute uh, yeah so this allows it to understand and execute tasks that would otherwise take a human lot of time to time and effort to complete it manually by breaking down complex tasks into simpler components it can tackle the problem with ease, adapting to new situation and learning from experiences. So applications are, it has wide variety of applications making it versatile. Uh, making it versatile. So some of the use cases could be in data analytics. So it can swift through a massive amounts of data identity patterns and provide insights making data driven decisions a lot easier than ever uh, god mode can generate content such as blog social media and even video scripts um, and customer support by providing instant responses to customer inquiries this ai tool can enhance uh, customer support uh, can enhance customer support and reduce response time and project management can streamline uh, project management by automating repetitive tasks. 
uh, such as delegating work, tracking progresses, ultimately increasing the overall productivity. So the benefits of this, as you can see, is one is time saving by automating complex tasks, saves uh, users valuable time and allows them to focus on more significant aspects of their work. Uh, AI algorithms um, AI algorithms can reduce human error and ensure more accurate results. So cost effective by streamlining the process and improving efficiency can help businesses save on labor and operational costs with the help of AI driven insights can make better informed decisions to achieve their targets. And as you can see, we are just scraping through each one of it. The relevant articles got saved in a text file. You can download this. But let's go through this entire series first. And uh, let's see what it generates. And as you can see that it is a powerful tool that has a potential to change the way we approach complex tasks. And as an AI technology, continues to advance we can expect to see more innovative solutions like god mode and if you enjoyed uh, this make sure you give this a try and let me know how this goes and uh, if this is of uh, uh, any other use case that uh, fits your bill for this specific one we are still scraping through the final stages so we are in the uh, second task uh, and uh, there's one more task left after this. So let's see what it's generating here. Yeah, it takes a couple of time. Okay. So we are in the final stage of this. And let's review the output once we are done with all this. So. Cool. So it's uh, doing the task for us and it's trying to write a landing page messaging text to a file wherein we have all this data. So cool. Proposed action plan. Okay, there's one more. Yeah, I'm not giving uh, it a couple of feedback because I just want to see what it's doing and it's giving us a reasoning for each one of its uh, decision and let's review it at uh, what it's doing so i'm just waiting for this task to complete then i'll just uh, we'll review each task output whatever it has done to see if it makes sense or uh, we need another iteration with better prompting so yep so this would be the uh, final task most likely here so as you can see the first thing it did was conduct market research to identify uh, so to identify uh, their target audience and their needs so it searched in google for ed tech uh, trends then search for competitors using google search for popular features in ed tech on google write a target audience demographic and this got saved into target audience.txt so this is the file and let me download it so let's open this file uh, yeah. okay so yeah. let me download this file which is the first file we need is target audience.txt okay so if i download this file show in the folder and in target audience let me open it in notepad plus plus okay okay so it is doing that here so target audience uh females and male aged 18 to 35 in urban areas they are tech savvy and have experience with other ed tech products so their needs interactive intuitive digital landing materials 
which can be accessed anywhere, anytime, personalized study programs and tools for uh, collaboration and communication. And that's it. And after this, yeah. And after this, uh, the next task it did was execute code to calculate progress towards revenue and goal and print the result and develop a minimum viable product and test it with potential customers. So it has something called relevant articles. So I'll download this. And I think we already have the folder here. So let's open with notepad plus plus. Okay, so it has provided us a list of articles. And after this, uh, then uh, list of potential platforms. So it gave us a list of potential platforms. And let's download that file. Go back and open this. So it says Reddit, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, online forums for educators and uh, students. Okay, so it's basically talking about uh, promotion here. And after this, write a description of primary target audience to target audience.txt. Okay, so we already have looked at this file. And after target audience, create a marketing and a sales strategy and a lead generation tactics. So we have something called lead generation tactics.txt. Okay, so let me download this file, go and open it. And in lead generation, okay. So social media advertising on Facebook, LinkedIn and other platforms and creating a blog and producing content that speaks to the pain points on the target audience and engaging videos and infographics showcase the benefits of a product, influencer marketing to leverage audiences of popular educators and other influences to our target audience, running a referral programs. Okay, sounds good. So after all this. Okay, so it's doing something for uh, the next part here. Um, and after this MVP iteration .txt. So there should be something called MVP iteration .txt. So let me save that file and go and open this. So yeah, in MVP iteration, what it says is uh, So our initial MVP had some UI UX issues that confused our customers. We learned from our testing that we need to improve way we onboard and clearly explain our product works. We focused on improving our onboarding and introduced a series of tutorial videos that walked through our product features. This change resulted in decrease in user confusion and increase in user satisfaction rates. So we ran triggered email campaigns of potential customers and received feedback that our MVP is useful and meets their needs of target audience. We also learned that user wanted more customization options. And we introduced a feature that allows user to collaborate, share educational materials with each other. This changed the increasing uh, engagement and retention rates among our user base. Okay. So yeah. Creating personalized. Okay. Yeah, let's do this anyway. We have gone through that here. So uh, in this lead generation tactics, we looked at it. We haven't looked at, uh, email campaigns so let's download it and open it okay so let's open the email uh, campaign here so in the email campaign introduction to our product welcome and interactive learning materials uh, connect with learners share notes experts product updates features uh, stay tuned with the new products and upcoming releases of our product. Okay, so it's talk something about that. And uh, I've post the email campaign again, it has appended the relevant articles, potential customers. 
and okay and what the next one is email outreach templates yeah i think we can stop at this so basically you guys got an idea what you can do with uh, god mode um, so it's able to uh, do each one of the step and you can go back and check the results and uh, that's uh, this is the second way of auto gpt this is the additional way of uh, accessing the auto gpt where you can do uh, get what you want and they have also provided examples and i also walked you through an example hope this helps see you in the next video Thank you for joining.